traditional experimental design has played a massive role in our scientific understanding and to be honest I'm still using it from time to time but there's also a better way to experiment especially with the technology that we have available today with the small supercomputers that we have in our pockets why should we design the same experiments as scientists did 500 years ago but what do I mean when I say traditional experimental design? Let's have a look at that first. Picture this, you're a chemist and you want to increase the yield of a chemical reaction. And one way to do that is you could play around with the temperature and maybe you find an optimum that could be at 180 degrees, for example. What you then do is you take different catalysts, you try different catalysts for your chemical reaction and see how they might influence the yield. Same procedure, you test the different catalysts and let's say again you find a better catalyst as your previous one, let's call that one catalyst 2, it increases the yield even more. So what else can you do? The pressure, you can change the pressure. Same experiments with previous optimum temperature and previous optimum catalyst. And you find the perfect pressure for your settings to be at 50 bars. But here's the problem. So you don't really know if that, so is that the best optimum that you can find or would would there have been a better optimum if for example you started testing different catalysts first or if you started testing at different pressures first because that very much determines how you conduct the rest of your experiments right And that's also the reason why one of the greatest scientists of all time would probably laugh at us today because that's no progress at all compared to how he did experiments. Because when he tested how long it takes for a ball to fall to the ground from different heights, he used the same experimental design principle but 500 years ago when Galilei conducted his experiments, he was basically limited to a feather, a piece of paper and his brain. But today, I mean, we're not limited by that. We have computers everywhere. We have artificial intelligence coming up, machine learning, cloud computing. I don't even know what else. And we're still conducting experiments the old way, that's not how it should be. I am definitely no expert in design of experiments and AI and things like that. But I'm extremely excited about these tools and I really want to learn. And I want to take you with me on that journey and maybe learn together with you. So if you're interested, then subscribe to the channel and... Uh, Stay interested. See you.